You swiped your way through the holidays, and now, like almost every American, you're facing the mounting credit card bills. We'll talk with one of the nation's top credit counselors about debt and its effect on the economy. Stay with us. This is CNN FM, the financial network. The holidays are over, and chances are you're seeing a bounce in your credit card bills this month. Uh, during the past decade, American consumers have doubled their debt. And some experts say it, it's the economy's ticking time bomb. Joining us now to talk about debt and how you can get out of it is Howard Vorkin, president of Consolidated Credit Counseling. Howard, thanks for joining our program. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Good Fred. afternoon to you too, Howard. And uh, do Americans, I'm wondering, still lack the savings to service their uh, increasing debt? Unfortunately, there isn't any savings left to service that increasing debt. Despite those good years? Despite those good years, all the savings were either eaten up over time or wiped out from the uh, stock market crash. Unfortunately, the savings rate effectively, when you take factor in inflation, is less than 1%. So but that is terrible, terrible savings rate. But then again, uh, uh, over the past uh, few years and continuing today, we've seen that huge uh, mortgage financing boom. A lot of Americans squeezing uh, value using home equity uh, loans uh, to try to um, drum up some cash. Absolutely, and that's a great idea. Unfortunately, when people refinance their houses, they're leaving those same credit cards open, and unfortunately, bad habits are hard to break, and they're starting to charge up those cards. So in another two years, they may be back in the same position, and it's unfortunate. At Consolidated Credit Counseling Services, we, we see that all too often that people get out of debt and then find their way back into debt and it's a tragic tragic thing so uh, despite all those uh, uh, you know uh, the money that was squeezed out of homes that has not slowed the rate of uh, credit card debt well the credit card debt is the highest it's ever been in in many in forever and as such people are trying to find ways to pay it off but they have to stop spending that's the key now, Howard, all this comes as interest rates, uh, a lot of market watchers, economists speculate, uh, may tick higher this year. Um, what will this do to exacerbate perhaps uh, personal bankruptcies? Well, I think that it's, gonna, it's not going to have that much of an effect. It may have an effect on the, on the residential side, the residential mortgages, because even with the low interest rates, the credit card companies never bothered to change the, uh, the, the current rates that they charge their consumers. The only benefit is if you were shopping around and you had good credit, you might be able to obtain a better better rate on the current credit card debt that you have by transferring balances and such. Now, how the average American household has $7,000 in credit card debt. What should Americans do to lower their debt? Well, the first thing I think that people really need to do is go through and figure out really where you are. You'll be very surprised at Consolidated Credit. We get thousands of phone calls every single month, and unfortunately, people tend not to know where they are. I would say less than 40% really understand or have a, a very clear idea of where they are financially. So they have to understand where they are, and then you have to figure out a plan how to get out of debt. And that may take some work. It may be as easy as just finding who's charging you the highest interest rate and starting to make large payments, maybe three times the minimum payment that they, that is suggested towards that, liquidate that balance, and then move, once that card is liquidated, move that strategy to the next highest card, so on and so forth. That may be one way. Another option may be to go around and switch and try to find better deals out there, and there are better deals, and maybe go to the Internet and search online for good interest rate deals and transfer balances but the consumers have to be very very careful of what they do because there's a lot of hidden tricks in the credit card marketing sector the other thing is call somebody you trust go to a certified credit counselor there's a tremendous amount of them some are good some are bad like every other industry go through work with somebody who has your best interests in at stake Consolidated Credit Counseling has a tremendous amount of educational products on the on its website and it's all free so if people want to they could tap into consolidatedcredit.org and go through and learn about credit because there is a a bastion of, of, of information out there but unfortunately there is a huge void in society of proper education when it comes to finances and personal finances well and thanks for some of that education thanks for some of those tips Howard Hard working of consolidated